Hey everybody, uh, uh, today I'm doing a video on uh, grooming items in my room. So, uh, I guess we're going to start out. This looks really close. Okay, anyway, uh, first thing I have is ah, <laughs> a brush. It's just a regular old cheap hairbrush. You can probably get something like this from Dollar General. But, uh, you know, it was for Christmas a few years ago. So, I recommend having one, but don't use a brush unless absolutely necessary. Um, because it really pulls out their hair, their mane and tail, and it really thins it out, and it takes forever to grow back, so. Only use when absolutely necessary, otherwise, like, pick through their mane and tail with your fingers. It's probably the best idea. Okay, next item is a metal curry. Uh, some people debate whether you should use these on your horses. I think, depending on where you live, like, if you live somewhere where it's dry and not muddy, then you won't have to use it very much. Or if your horse has really sensitive skin, or really thin skin, then it's probably not a good idea either. I live here in Iowa, and our, none of our horses are really too sensitive at all, so they don't mind it. It gets the chunked up mud off of them, and... Really, it's like a necessity here. Our horses are out in the pasture all day long, so they roll and everything. So, definitely a good thing to have, even if you don't think you'll need it. Uh, next thing I have is a rubber curry. This is just a plain old boring thing. But, yeah, you just rub it around in circles. Okay, next we have a stiff bristle brush. Dandy brush or hard bristle brush, whatever you want to call it. Brush hair on it. I sometimes use this to brush my horse's hair. I mean, his mane and tail. Just to, I don't know, get stuff out of it. It kind of detangles it, but it's better if you detangle it with your fingers first. Then also with the metal curry, a lot of people, they use it and they just go like this to the bristles. And it pulls all that hair down. I don't know if you can see. Pulls all this hair down, and then you can pull it off. Got a pile of horse hair in my room. Okay, next thing is a soft bristle brush. All of our horses are shedding, so you can see all this hair on them. But uh, this is yeah, a soft bristle brush. It you'd use it. I guess I should have probably told you the order, but you'd use metal curry if your horse is really really muddy, has caked on mud. Then you use the rubber curry. Then you use the hard brush, and I guess I use short flicking motions. I guess that's how you describe it. And then you use your soft brush, and this gets like fine hair and dirt. It's kind of bad right now. It's really gross because all the horses are shedding. Yeah, my laptop's full of horse hair and dirt right now. So, and I'll make another video here in a little while on how to clean your brushes. So, uh, yeah, this is the soft bristle brush, and I just use long strokes. Uh, not everything in here is related to grooming. I'm just saying that in advance. What I'm doing next is, this is a grooming block. Best invention ever. Uh, they'll be a little bigger than this when you get them. You know, it's probably, I suck at measurements, but there's my hand, and there's it. So it's a decent size. But anyway, it's just, I don't know what it's made of at all. But like, it's really, or some people call it a grooming block, some people call it a shedding block. But it really, really, really does help if your horses are shedding. It's better than a curry anyway. I guess, only if your horses are shedding though, then it doesn't really work very well. But during the spring, it's a definite need. I love these. You can see where a the metal curry kind of dug into it, so it's not a, like the best idea to keep it in with a whole bunch of other stuff if it's gonna get like thrown around. But and then like, and see it's kind of dull right there. It's not so dull on the end. What you do is you just like rub it up against a fence post or pretty much anything that's hard, slab of concrete, the wall, anything pretty much. So love these. I, no, I didn't even know what they were until about four years ago. <sighs> They're kind of messy. 
Okay, do we have any other brushes in here? No. Okay. I'm just kind of looking through what all I have. I just brought all my stuff home. Yeah. Okay. Next item in on my uh, blog, I guess, if you look to the right of this video, it'll be that side, I think. Or that side. Or that side. I think it's that side, though. Uh, you vote for your favorite grooming item. I chose hoof pick. No foot, no horse. That's my motto. Your horse goes lame. Boop. Done. But, uh, hoof pick. Definitely something to carry on you. Riding, trail riding, everywhere. I guess not everywhere, but you get, you get the point. Some only have, like, this part. I think we have three hoof picks. This is the only one with a brush. And some hoof picks actually, like this, the actual pick will be down here, and there'll be a little scraper for scraping all the mud off the sole. But the side of the hoof pick, as long as you're not like using this, the side of the hoof pick works just good for that. But I guess you've seen my video on grooming. I don't have a brush in that one, or I don't think I do anyway. I don't think I have this one. I just found this one again. I've lost it. But yeah. And then you could, like, hook it on your belt or whatever. Okay, the next items are sort of related to grooming, kind of-ish. Okay, this is a really, really, really old halter. I just kind of have it with me. But you definitely probably want a halter to groom your horse. I have a really nice one. My, old, my Geldon's old halter is hanging on the wall over there. And I'll show that to you when I do my room part. Next up is hoof polish. If you smell it, you're going to choke. <laughs> I remember the first time I smelled hoof polish, I died. It was horrible. But, yeah. Most of you know what hoof polish looks like. I hope. I hope I didn't get some all over me. There's the little brush. It smells like acetone shoved in your nose. Okay, and the next thing, I got these for Christmas. I've been wanting them for a really long time, and I finally got them for Christmas this year. Pony paint. Uh, I'll find some pictures to post, but I think I have some pictures here on my computer where me and my sister got bored, so we went out and messed with some pony paint on our horses. They all had the little circ circles around their eyes, and our Gray bear. She had highlight, lime green highlights in her mane, and my gelding had a whole bunch of zebra prints. I guess not really zebra stripes on his mane. It was pretty funny. And then I got the sparkles. They're green, and so is this. They look really cool if you do like green. I did green highlights, and you have to use a lot if it's a dark colored horse. Like, uh, and it works better in the summer. So. I'm going to wait until summer to use the rest of it, because otherwise it tastes a lot of paint. And they're like $10 a bottle. But it was a Christmas gift, so I didn't have to pay for it. <laughs> but the sparkles, like if you do green highlights, I have my gelding has a black tail. I did green highlights in his tail, just like little strips. And then I did I worked sparkles like through his whole tail. It was, it looked pretty cool, sparkling in the sunlight. There's like little stars and... You can see what's all in there, but yeah, I love it. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so I'm now gonna go and get on with my room as long as I don't get interrupted. Okay, and I got my battery to unplug, so let's unplug. Okay, standing up. Okay, I guess we're gonna start over here. That's my door. I am a Twilight fan. So, yes, I am a huge Twilight fan in Hunger Games and another Twilight poster. Lawrence is almost over. And I have this nifty little picture of a barn. And then here's the halter I was talking about. This is my Gelding's old halter. I loved it. I got it from um, Flea Market. For like ten dollars, so and I have, I have so many horse pictures. This is a little weanling. I can turn my 
screen brightness down so you don't see all that. This is a little weanling I had. I got him for ten dollars the Applington uh, sales. I uh, brought him home and he was really really thin. He was sick and wormy. And uh, when we put him out in the pasture with the big horses after a few months, he got run into a fence and his leg was got infected and it eventually got worse and worse and then he got better or he was getting better and then we went out one night and he was down and didn't get back up so that's the story with him and there's a whole bunch of cute things on here and there's another horse picture my closet is a crime scene so definitely I do a lot of craft stuff, so I have crafty stuff all over my room. I have another horse back there and pictures from my local rodeo. And I have medals from tumbling. I have an organizer. I don't really have much in there. That's my desk area. It's not the best place to go. And my old crutches. Um my bed. I have a nice and lovely loft bed. Then my horse statue that I had when I was little. My bow. And there's stuff for my bows over here on my organizer. And my release and my wrist guard. So that's where that stuff goes. But then, yeah, I have a big mural on my wall. Some of it's ripped, like right there. And then my little bunny pepper. She's a goon. And her cage is up straight. Her cage is supposed to be like this. So the door's at the front. But yeah, that's my kind of wall of horses. You know, this is an old calendar. I have so many pictures of horses. I used to be in the pony club and they'd send a whole bunch of different stuff. But that's all my. I have a big picture of a horse. It's kind of hard to see because the pencil wasn't very bright, but I guess not. It wasn't dark. It wasn't dark enough. But then yeah, these are some old art things like the purple and yellow paper are both art. Then I have these shelves and I have horses. I'm trying to collect all the horses that we really have. And there's my bunny. My little bunny, Foo Foo. Her real name's Pepper, but I say bunny Foo Foo a lot. And I have this cute little horsey. And he snores. It's the cutest thing ever. Oh, he fell. Sit. Okay. Okay, so then we have the window. This, these bridles are from my very first horses. Uh, this one. Oh, my goodness. Uh oh. I'm gonna fix that quick. Something just fell out of my window. Oh, shorty, come on. <laughs> I'm really short. Just to let y'all know. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I just knocked my shelf down, too. I'm on a roll. And I just knocked more stuff down. By the way, the music provided by my iPod. So iTunes, yeah. Okay, I think it's gonna stay, maybe. Okay, I think it's gonna stay, maybe. I'm gonna put my shelf back up quick. Put my up, and I just, yeah, I have a class. But anyway, back to these bridles. Uh, these are my very first horses' bridles. Uh, they were re my grandparents' really old cattle horses. They used to run cows, so they were one of those been there, done that kind of horses. Needs to stay. Oh, there we go. Ha ha. Got it. And that's actually a puzzle. It's not like a picture, but it's a puzzle. And we glued it. This is Candy's bridle. Uh, 
she was super sweet. She was a pretty mare. And then, also, if you noticed, I have a new picture as my background for the blog. And that, uh, gelding, his name was Buttons. And this right here is his bridle. He was basically the first horse I ever rode on. I gotta pick up the reins. Oh. No, he was super sweet. First horse I ever fell off of, too. Grandpa didn't tighten up the girth enough, and over with the saddle. And then I have my, I'm, if any of you actually know me from real life, you know I'm addicted to lime green. I have a lime green crop, and I have a lime green saddle pad, I have a lime green helmet, but I just broke that. I took a fun, a pretty fun fall, and I don't know if any of you, um, have the, have like those fitted helmets, but if you're like most people, you have the ones with the dials in the back. I was riding, and then my horse bolted, and when I came off, I landed on my back, so when my head hit the ground, uh, the part that connects the dials to the actual side of the helmet, all the screws came out and loose. So I was really happy I was actually wearing a helmet, because I can't imagine how bad I would could have been hurt if I wasn't. So, big believer in helmets. Okay, another Twilight poster, and yes, I am Team Jacob. So, this is a really, really, I love this painting. It's so pretty. I got this for Christmas this year. Absolutely love it. And then, in a world where you can be anything, be yourself. It's coming off the wall. And then I have some more pictures of barns and stuff down here, and a little pile of stuffed animals. I'm move my lamp back over. And then this. Oh, uh, this is actually under my gelding shoes. We had to, he used to have fat shoes, but now he doesn't have any shoes, so I saved that one. He pulled a shoe while we were lunging, so he took the other one off. And then this is a really, really, really old shoe. We are digging up in our yard so we could lay some rock down. And I found this, and I went in and I scrubbed some of it off, but it's really dirty. It's actually kind of heavy, too. I'm surprised at how heavy it is for being that small. Then I have another horse poster, or just a calendar. I my Twilight calendar, and I have three calendars. I'm like weird. And then I have my Wii and all the games and everything for my Wii, and then that's all the stuff we just went through. I have spurs. I don't really use them at all. Because our horses don't really need spurs. I never actually had to, like, use spurs to make them go at all. So, they pretty much just hang up here. I, I hope I never have to use them. I don't like using spurs. I'm afraid I'm going to, like, accidentally hurt them. I would, like, hate to. But, yeah. Those, they're kind of dirty in some spots, as you can see. But, yeah. That's my room and grooming tools. And I'm going to try to do two more videos tonight. I might only get to one. But I'm going to try to do uh, cleaning your brushes and I guess your other uh, grooming items and all of my lime green tack. So, thanks. Bye.